welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a mid-year empties video. Um, as mentioned at the beginning of this year, I'm going to start doing these empties video every six months so that I accumulate a little bit more and so that you guys can actually see a little bit more. And actually in the last six months, I've accumulated a lot of things that I finished. So this may be a video that's a little bit longer than usual. But with that being said, I want to show you guys what I finished and of course, what are my thoughts on some of these items? Some of these are staple items that you probably have seen uh, on my channel over and over again. But without further ado, I'm just going to go straight into my bag and show you guys what I finished in the last six months. So first item here, I think this is new. This is the Soothing Body Wash Aloe Vera. This is from Esfolio. I, I don't know. It's I think it's a, it's a Korean brand, definitely, for sure. I wanted like a soothing body wash. You know, aloe vera is always good for you. And this was at a pretty affordable price. I think I got this off either Test... I think it's Tester Korea off that website. Um, and yeah, I finished the whole bottle. I mean, body wash for me is definitely something that I finish something of this size once in every like two, three months, roughly. Um, I also finished the Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Ultra Light a Zero Silicone Fortifying Shampoo. This has always been a staple item for me for my hair, so I strongly recommend this. Super affordable at the drugstore, and you probably have heard me talk about this in my previous videos. This is actually, I think, new. Um, I don't remember where I got this, but this is um, Human and Kind Skin Care. Um, this is the Body Souffle. Um, I believe it's kind of like a body lotion, or at least that's what I used it for. It smelled pretty good. Like it had that, um, if I remember correctly, like an, a scented... I don't know, it's really hard for me to describe scents. I mean, it smelled really good. It was quite thickening. It was definitely white, like a lotion kind of texture. And I lathered it all over my body. It felt pretty good. Um, did it hydrate my skin? Absolutely. It definitely did what it's supposed to do, which is um, something that's supposed to be super hydrating for your skin. This is definitely a staple item. This is the um, this is the skin. Uh, sorry, first aid beauty bump eraser body scrub. I've talked about this in previous videos before, and I probably finished a few of these full size bottles, and hence that's why it's like all deformed. Um, this is great as a body scrub for people like myself who have a little bit of acne scars on my body. I feel like it really helps exfoliate that area and just like keep it nice and clean and actually, you know, help rejuvenate your skin. Like it, it it's, it's a very soft kind of scrub, but definitely not a daily scrub. I don't recommend this every day, but definitely if you want something like a scrub that you will use like once in every two or three days, this works very well and I recommend it. My husband uses this as well. He has a lot of like acne on his arms and he feels that after using this, it definitely helped. So this is something I would strongly recommend. So this is a new item that I tried out uh, in the last six months. This is the Neutrogena Body Clear uh, Body Wash in Pink Grapefruit. This one actually, um, if I remember correctly, it's actually a like kind of like a body wash that's actually good for, I guess, acne prone skin or skin that has extra oil in it. Uh, it does smell like grapefruit and there is a little bit of residue left in the bottle so you can see what it is. It has little beads and those little beads really... Um, I always find it really fascinating because once those beads pop, whatever that's in it actually really helps uh, with your skin. Um, it does have vitamin C, so it really, really helps with, um, I guess, just hydrating and like rejuvenating your skin once again. Like, because, you know, a body wash, I, I don't like body wash that completely strips your, your natural oils. And this is definitely not one of those. So I recommend this for anyone who has like, a bit of like acne prone skin because it just has salicylic acid acne treatment in it so it does really help um this was quite affordable i think it was like less than ten dollars canadian at the local drugstore um for 250 milliliters which is similar in pricing in terms of like i guess the body shop um uh, i think it's the tea tree body uh wash that i use very very similar and of course if you 
I just find that I wanted to try something different and of a different scent, so this worked really well as well. This was something that took me a while to finish, but I feel like my husband finished it for me instead. This is the Garnier Whole Blends uh, Repairing Rinse Out Mask. So this is actually a hair mask. I don't use hair masks that often, which I really, really should because of how dry my, my hair is, but my husband loves using it because he finds it helps him detangle his hair and it makes it smell great. It, it does have honey in it, so that's why it repairs, strengthens, and protects, especially for people who, like myself, blow dry your hair often, and I also straighten my hair often, so it does wreck my hair, but having a mask like this, great. And it's definitely something you could use in the shower. Like you could put it on for like three to five minutes roughly uh, while you're taking a shower and you know, just rinse it off after. Um, and you know, you don't have to use this every day. So for people like myself who don't really use conditioner for your hair, using this once every you know two to three days is, is great. It's great for your hair. And I find myself when I don't use um, a hair mask often or even like conditioner, all of a sudden using this, oh my God, my hair loves it. It's so smooth afterwards and it smells great. Once again, this is also something that is super affordable that you can get at the drugstore for like less than $10 Canadian. So another full size item that I finished is the Kate Somerville Exfoliate uh, Cleanser. This is a daily foaming wash. I tried, I guess, this travel size one in the past and I quite liked it. This was, I don't remember if I got this from a subscription box or did I get it actually uh, when it was on sale at Sephora. So I finished the whole thing. It's, it was great for my face. Like I, I didn't feel like it stripped away my natural oils. Um, and the scent wasn't bad, like, um, and it lathers really well. I always find, um, especially for like foaming cleansers for your face, it has to lather really well before, you know, like massaging it all over your face. Cause if it doesn't, like, I feel like it doesn't do a whole lot for me then. A full size item and a staple item that I finished is the CauseRx AHA BHA Clarifying Treatment Toner. I swear by this. I use this um, for my face, for my body. Um, basically after I cleanse, I apply this on just, you know, especially, you know, the time of the month, I tend to break out a lot and, you know, certain areas I'm just more oily. And on days that I sweat a lot, definitely this is like great for your back. Like you spray it on a cotton pad and just like wipe it all over your back. Oh, love it, love it. So another, I guess, cleanser that I finished, and I, I think I talked about this in another video, which I'll probably link up here for you guys, and this is the Ole Henriksen Truth Juice Daily Cleanser. This is the one with the orange fruit water and PHA. Um, it smells great. It, it's, it's lovely. I, like, I talk all about it in that video, so you guys can go and check that out. Another, I guess, staple item that you may have also seen on this channel is the First Aid Beauty. This is the Pure Skin Face Cleanser. Um, it's kind of like an oldie but goodie, and time to time I just go and purchase this. This is obviously the travel size, not the full size. Um, it's one of those where, you know, my skin is, like doesn't have a lot of issues, like no breakouts, no, um, you know, flaky skin. This is just something that I would use. Like it's gentle, it's great for sensitive skin, um, and I feel like it, it removes what it's supposed to remove, which is just naturally dirt on my face. And you know, it's not, it's definitely not a day, like I wouldn't use this for a deep cleanse, even though it does say it removes surface oils, makeup, dirt, and grim. Um, I, yeah, I don't think for makeup wise, if I wanted a deep cleanse, I would use something a little bit stronger, but definitely this is, soft for the skin, works well, does its job. So the last few months I did, I guess, do a little bit of traveling, so therefore I finished some travel size items here. The, this is the Lost the Tan, this is uh, the Jasmine and Bergamot um, shampoo that I finished. Um, it's just a regular shampoo in my opinion, like it, it does the job, it smells great. That's about it. And I also finished the same thing, but in shower gel. These, I believe, came from one of the hotels that I stayed at. Um, I think it was the Shangri-La that I stayed at last year that I picked up and I decided to keep it with me. And you know, this year I, I had like a, like a one night stay somewhere and you know, 
I finished two of these. I'm one of those people when I open these and I've already started using them, I, I tend to want to finish them when I get home. So yeah. So a few more items that were in my, I guess, travel kit was the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water in the travel size. I've talked about this many times also in the past and I like it. It does the job. Um, of course, for waterproof makeup, you may need to scrub it a little bit harder when you're using this. So I definitely don't think this is like for waterproof makeup, but definitely for a day-to-day -day kind of makeup, like, you know, just like for me, I normally just have eyebrows, lipstick, and like maybe some concealer. This is more than enough for me to remove that type of makeup. But of course, if I start having like waterproof eyeliner and mascara, uh, yeah, either I have to double cleanse it or I have to use something with an oil based. And another Garnier Fructis, uh, this is a skin, a uh, silk, sleek and shine, sorry, uh, fortifying shampoo. This is with argan oil from Morocco. This is just the travel size. So once again, one of those that I just finished up because I started using it. And as some of you guys may already notice with a different background, I have moved. So because of moving, I was like, oh my God, there's all these little like travel size items that I just want to just finish them, right? Like just not have them hanging around and you know, they were still good to use. So I finished one of these. This item here, I pretty much finished. And I don't think I've ever talked about this. This was actually, um, from one of my favorite Korean, uh, I guess, YouTuber, uh, Muse, Muse, she actually recommended this in one of the videos, like, I think a year or two ago. This is the Neogen Derm Dermatology. This is the uh, Probiotics Double Action Serum. When it's double action, I thought it was really cool because you get two different kinds. One that's just thicker and one that it's uh, more on the light weight. And it's one of those where, okay, so, excuse me for the dirty residue. You can pump either one you want or you can mix the two. I find myself gravitating towards more of the lighter one. The thicker one was more so like for me in the winter time, but most of the time I gravitate towards the lighter one or I mix the two and it was great for my skin. Like it hydrates, it keeps the moisture in my skin versus, you know, like just, you know, my skin just drinking it up or transferring it onto my pillow. Uh, I use this more on like daytime versus nighttime. So yeah, of course I finished the hand lotion in the last six months. I sure hope so. <laughs> this is the Pure Smile Teapot Hand Cream. This came from a subscription box like, oh my God, I think a long time ago, but I just thought, well, it's a hand cream, you know, can't go wrong with it. Smells really good. It smells like rose tea, literally like, like what it, you know, states it is. And you know, it's a decent size. I, I kept it at home. It's definitely not something I threw into my purse and carried it around, but it was great. And of course, one that I did throw in my purse and I did finish is the Body Shop uh, Strawberry Hand Cream. This is super strong in scent. So if you work in an office or an environment where it's like scent free, stay away from this. But if not, it's great. It's I love strawberry scented things. I love strawberries in general, so. I loved keeping this around and, you know, it didn't bother too much, you know, of my colleagues at, at, in my office. So yeah, here's a travel size item that I recently finished and I did talk about in another video, which I'll probably link also up here. Um, this is the Soap and Glory Clean On Me Creamy Clarifying Shower Gel. I really liked it. I love the signature scent that they use and yeah, I just love it. And, as you can tell, I kind of just like added a little, little bit of water in it and rinsed the last little bit and still used it on my body. Why not, right? So these two were, I guess, uh, travel size items that I think I got for free as samples. This is the, both of these are the Cetaphil. Um, this one is the body wash. Um, and then this one is the Eczema so Soothing Moisturizer. I tried both of these and I quite like them actually. They're, you know, scent free. This eczema one worked really well for my dry patches because I do have eczema skin. Um, so I, I did really like that and it went great, especially on, um, not only on my face, I did use it on my face, I'm pretty sure I did. And I also used it on my body. I, I do get dry patches on my legs sometimes and this over like maybe like a week after using it, that dry patch completely went away, which I am so thankful for. 
And of course the body wash, it's just one of those that are scent free, does the job of cleansing your body. And that's kind of about it <laughs> in my opinion. Now in terms of chapstick, and I've talked about this in probably almost all my videos, or I guess all my empties video is the Nivea Essential. I finished two of these. I love them. They're great. Um, they're great to just throw in around. I just like the original one. I know they came out with different scents and, you know, different ones out there, but I still gravitate to the original, this like navy blue packaging. So yeah. Another travel size item, and I think this, you know, I, I've talked about this also many times, is the Sol de Janeiro uh, Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. I think I got this probably from Sephora as a, like, a birthday gift or something. Love it. Love the scent. Every time I use this, my, my husband always comments. I was like, ooh, it's that cream again. A travel size item that I finished is the Tatcha the Dewy Skin Cream. Cream. I do really like this. I, I did use this more at nighttime, um, like right before I go to bed. I apply this all over my face and it's really good. It's very lightweight. Um, it hydrates my skin and you know the next day I don't feel like my skin is all dried up. So um, it worked really well even in the winter time when you know you're blasting out the heater or at least that's what I do. So in the last six months I also finished a little bit of makeup and you know as I mentioned I don't put on a full face of makeup um, as often as I used to. So instead I actually finished eyebrow pencils and these are the Anastasia Brow Definers. I prefer the definers a little bit because they're very quick and just given just the surface area that it covers. It's very quick on defining your brows. Um, I, so I finished two of these. I'm, the, the color that I'm actually using is actually medium brown. So I swear by them, I go through these like crazy. Um, I think on a day-to-day -day basis, I, I, I do still use these, which honestly, I should really try microblading my eyebrows if this is what I'm gonna be doing on a day-to-day -day basis, right? I also finished a eyeliner and this is the Dolly Wink Liquid Eyeliner. Um, this is definitely something that I've had around for a while that, you know, I constantly be cleaning to make sure that like bacteria doesn't grow and like, you know, I'm not like infecting my eyes or anything like that, but I finally like it, it it's done. <laughs> There's no more ink in it basically, but I do love it. Um, I love how like how soft and how flexible like the brush head is to give you that really um, sharp, I guess like cat eye, wing eye look that I tend to like. Last but not least that I finished in the last six months is actually the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. And I use Y315. Um, I know it looks like there's still some here, but I can tell you I can't pump any more out of this and you know have an excuse for how dirty the nozzle is. I've cleaned it as much as I can. Um, I tried to use this to like make um, like um, my own cushion foundation and I, I just like using this like it's it's like a foolproof kind of foundation and definitely one that I gravitate towards if I can find it. Um, and of course, it's great to even use with my be uh, sorry, my beauty blender, because it's just easy to blend out. And I also feel like it doesn't matter summer or winter, like this shade just works really well for me. Anyway, so those are all the items. I know this video is probably a little longer than my usual um, empties video, but I did finish a lot and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if so, remember to give me that thumbs up and I shall see you guys in my next one. Bye!